After completing the process of creating response surfaces, a table is activated by the ANSYS Workbench software that provides the quality criteria for the suitability of response surfaces. These criteria examine the quality of the response surfaces generated by solving the design sample points. Types of the goodness of fit measurement criteria are as present here. Each of the criteria for measuring the goodness of fit of response surfaces has some value as its best value. If each of the measurement criteria obtained for each parameter or numerical output var variable was equal to the value of the best measure of that criterion, it means that the response levels are estimated to be the best and have the least error. When the best response level is obtained for the desired output parameter according to a certain measurement criterion, the golden three star symbol for that output parameter is displayed. Now, the further way the number obtained from each of the measurement criteria is from the best number of the criteria, the fewer the number of golden stars. If the number obtained from each of the measurement criteria for a given output parameter was too far away from the value of the best state of that criterion, it means that the response levels are estimated to be very poor. Resulting in a red cross is displayed for that parameter. This table shows the best value of each of the quality metrics. The coefficient of determination is a measure of how much the quality of the resulting response shows the degree of variability. The closer this criterion is to the number 1, the higher the quality of the response level. The formula for this criterion is as follows. The maximum relative residual is similar criterion for the response level using the alternating mathematical expression. The closer this criterion to zero, the higher the quality of the response surface. The formula for this criterion is as follows. The root mean square error is a criterion equivalent to the second root of the mean square at the design points in the test environment for regression method. The closer this criterion to zero, the higher the quality of the response surface. The formula for this criterion is as follows. The relative root mean square error is a criterion equivalent to the second square root of the mean square of scales with real output values at design points in the experimental environment for the regression method. The closer this criterion to zero, the higher the quality of the response level. The formula for this criterion is as follows. The relative maximum absolute error is a criterion equal to the reminder of the absolute maximum relative to the standard deviation from the actual output data. The closer this criterion to zero, the higher the quality of the response level. The relative average absolute error is a criterion equal to the mean error relative to the standard deviation from the actual output data. This error criterion is used when the number of sample design points is less than 30. The closer this criterion is to zero, the higher the quality of the response surface. For example, suppose there are two parameters or output variables including temperature, outlet, and pressure drop, on which the effects of changes in output parameters lead to a response level. This example uses the Kriging method to generate a response surface. This figure shows a table of quality criteria for each output parameter. Now we can evaluate the goodness of fit related to the response levels according to the special goodness of fit chart. In fact, this measure indicates the appropriateness of similarity between the values obtained from the solution process in the design point 
in the DOE and the points on the response surface estimated by the method of creating response levels, or RSM. In the diagram for this criterion, the horizontal axis represents the observed points from the design points and the vertical axis represents the estimated points from the response level that predicted from the response surface. If we set a 45 degree line as the boundary for comparing the values of these two axes, the higher the density of the points related to the results of the output parameters and this boundary and the less scattered, the higher the quality of the response surfaces. Suppose, for example, that the changes in two output parameters called temperature outlet and mass flow outlet are investigated in terms of changes in three input parameters using response surface method or RSM. Uh, this figure shows the, pro uh, the proportional quality chart between the values of the output temperature and the output mass flow in the test environment. And the values obtained from the production of the response level. As can be seen from the figure, this is a very good relationship between the values observed in the experimental environment and the estimated values at the response surface. And as a result, the quality of the response level is high. Master CFD experts are ready for DOE analysis, consulting, training and CFD simulation. To benefit from Master CFD services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at